What is up gamers? Today I am bringing you a strategy guide for the third floor on Cafe. This is probably the most picked site on this map in rank, and I'm going to be covering it operator by operator, and as always, there will be timestamps down in the description below, so you can know which operator to go to if your friend sends you this and is telling you to learn a specific part of the strategy. But without further ado, uh, let's just get right into this video. I'm going to be starting with Jaeger here. So first here, I'm going to be covering Jaeger. Jaeger is probably one of the most important parts of the strategy. Uh, but before we get into the ADS placements, we we're gonna talk about his loadout, doesn't matter. You can bring the M870 if you want, I don't know why you would, but I prefer the carbine. And then you're going to wanna bring his barbed wire as well, and obviously you get the ADSs. Now for your barbed wire placements, you're gonna to wanna to be placing some barbed wire on the top of the white stairs. Ah, give me over there. On the top of the white stairs right here. Okay, and this is just to prevent somebody crouch walking up the white stairs early in the round. A lot of people will come down here and breach the soft wall right here and crouch walk up the staircase. This is just to prevent, you know, dumbasses like that from doing their thing. Okay, and for your next barbed wire placement, you're going to want to slap it right under this hatch. And this is actually a pretty important one for all my. You'll see why later. I'll actually talk about this in the next part of the video. But uh, for your ADS placements, you're going to want to run all the way over to this corner of the map. My team calls this Pixel. Some people call it Bitch Corner. Uh, I just think Pixel's easier. Okay, so what you want to do is Jaegers, you want to knife out this bench. Stab this bench, okay, and then you want to put your ADSs on the right side of this wall. Get them as far right as you can, and I'll show you why in a second. And you're going to want to place all three of your ADSs here. If you put all three of your ADSs here, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's what you want to be doing, okay? But the reason why you want to put them over here is so if someone gets on this window, they can't get an angle on them, okay? So the farther right they are, the harder it is for them to get an angle on them, okay? So you want to put these ADSs here because someone is going to be playing in this corner with a shield and it's very, very important to the strategy that you actually protect the shield that's going to be placed here in the next part of this video. And then for your playing position during the round, it's pretty, pretty common one, okay? I recommend that you play below the white stairs uh, in reading room and obviously you don't have to be sitting in reading room the whole entire round. You can move around a little bit, you know, you're a roamer, you can, you know, you're flexible, okay? but. As Jaeger here, there's a few angles that I want to show you guys that you can actually try to help control uh, from this angle. If no one's contesting you down here, uh, I'd like I'd like to stay in reading, right? The goal is to stay in reading. If no one's trying to push me out, my goal is to stay in reading because I can contest this door, make sure no one's holding, uh, holding an angle onto this guy or impacting below here and clearing the guy in the balcony, okay? I can contest anybody that drops or tries to peek new balc, okay? And then if it's really late enough in the round, which, uh... You know, if they don't clear you, you should be down here when there's like 30 seconds left, the attackers are going in for the plant. You can actually run all the way below here and shoot through the floor to deny uh, one of the common plant spots, which is behind this bar. Okay, this is probably one of the most common plant spots, right? Look, it's right through here. You just shoot through the floor, try not to hit the little bars, and I should be able to deny any default planter. Uh, and hopefully that all makes sense for Jaeger. I'm going to be moving on to smoke. Okay, so for Smoke's part in this strategy, uh, you got quite a bit to do, uh, but before we get into what you're going to be doing as Smoke, I want to make sure you got the loadout correct. Okay, you're going to want to bring the SMG-11 and the shotgun here. Just such a powerful combination for uh, for all of the SAS operators on defense. But uh, as Smoke, you are going to be responsible for some reinforcements here. You're going to want to be getting both of these freezer walls, okay? And you're not going to want to reinforce the bathroom walls because we're actually going to put a rotate there for the guy playing in Pixel, okay? I just got both these walls reinforced. It's time to make a rotate. You want to make a rotate on the, um, on the, uh, east, eastmost side of the wall. I can never remember which direction east is. And then you're also going to want to reinforce this wall, okay? So the reason why you reinforce this wall instead of the right one, or not both, is because you can actually come from pixel into here and then hold angles right here, okay, to continue contesting this. And it also helps you, and I'll show you why in a second, but that's kind of for later in the smoke part. For your next rotate, you're going to want to slap it down right here. Uh, definitely not on this side, because if it's on this side, they can smoke you from the skylight. Okay, so you're going to make a rotate right there. Crouch level, standing level, doesn't matter. Whatever you got time for. And then you're going to want to make a rotate. Uh, this is what my team calls Shiko. We call this Shiko rotate. I don't know what you guys call it. Uh, it's kind of a strange call out. We actually do use the wrong call out here. But we've been doing the wrong thing for so long that it's right to us now. Hello? All right. And then you're going to want to reinforce right next to the Shiko rotate. Okay. So now that you hopefully have got all of your reinforcements and your rotate set up, that shouldn't have taken you too long. I was able to do that all in about, in about 40 seconds, uh, excluding talking time. You're going to want to go all the way around a pixel corner and place your shield in pixel. But first, shoot out the speakers. Be kind to your teammates. Be kind to everybody in the lobby. Please 
shoot out the speakers and the clock. All right, so for your shield placement, the clock didn't shoot out. Hello? There we go. Okay. So for your shield placement, you're going to want to put it right here. And it's very important. I'll explain this in a second. It's very, very important that you don't put your shield against this. Okay. Because if the ADSs here are going to work, there needs to be some space in between the wall and the shield. Okay. So now the person playing pixel can actually play behind the shield and contest anybody, you know, coming in those spots. All right. So smoke for your playing position during the round. Once you got all of your setup done, you're actually going to be playing in the freezer. Now this is a really powerful position. You can get a lot done from here, but the number one thing that it's your job to watch early on in the round is somebody coming here. Okay. This can be a really lethal position for Wamai, which is why we're going to have some barbed wire here to notify smoke and Wamai who's going to be playing in pixel. I know I haven't talked about Wamai yet, but, um, the barbed wire is here so that you know someone drops and they're trying to swing this. Because if they swing this, they can kill you rotating back from bathroom. They can kill you in freezer potentially if you're not paying attention. And they can kill the guy pixels with this soft wall if they're smart enough. Okay? So you really want to be careful of that as you're playing in freezer early on in the round of smoke. And you also want to be listening for the throughout the entire round for somebody on the white stairs smacking the barbed wire that Jaeger places here. Okay, but those are your main concerns. And also, be very careful of this window. If someone ends up opening this window, I will hide in here so I don't get I don't get smoke from the window. Or I'll play on the soft wall. Or I'll play up in here. So, just, you know, use your brain. Be safe from that window. Okay? Definitely don't try to contest it because you'll lose that almost every time. But, um... Later in the round, as smoke, there's a lot you can be doing. And by later, I mean I'm talking like one minute left, okay? So pretend there's one minute left in the round. Pretend the Womai is getting pressured pixel really hard, right? This is why this bathroom rotates here, okay? So I can actually come through here, and I can use these holes that I made for myself to smoke the push-up on Womai, okay? You can smoke mini bar, or you can smoke the double door, depending on where they're coming to push Womai out, okay? That's very useful here. And then another very useful position uh, that Freezer gives you is you can smoke cigar door, and uh, the default plant. Now, the default plant right here is more of a 30 seconds left in the round type of thing. But what you can do is you can just, you know, do the normal thing. Huck a smoke grenade over there. And now the defenders will be will be forced to plant either in the open or behind the bar. In which, you know, obviously if they're planting behind the bar, you could just swing out and own them, right? So uh, hopefully that all makes sense for smoke, uh, for your playing position during the round and your setup and your loadout. Let me know if you have any questions, obviously, in the comments. And we're going to go ahead and move on to Amai. Okay, so we're uh, now into the third part of the video, Wamai's parts of this video. And uh, for your loadout here, it, it really doesn't matter. All of Wamai's guns are great. Both pistols, both primaries are all good, just depending on what you prefer. So it doesn't really matter what you're taking there. But for your secondary gadget, you're going to want to be taking the beeper devices, okay? And I'm going to start off by showing you where you need to reinforce, and then I'll show you where the beepers go. Okay, we're going to get rid of the music. For your reinforcements as well, my, you're going to want to be reinforcing two walls. You want to get these walls inside of, uh, of Cigar. Now, what my team calls this is Red Wall. Uh, that's really, that's what I hear a lot of people, you know, a lot of the big members of the Siege community calling this wall. It'll be called Red Wall, maybe Cigar Wall, maybe Piano Wall, but you get the point. Reinforce this wall, okay, and the reason why you want to be reinforcing this is so that the attackers have to expend utility in order to get a safe path to you in the corner here, right? Because if the attackers want to run through here, although there is a little risk, there is still some risk, you know, crossing this doorway. So you want to have the safest route possible by uh, opening this wall up. And for your beeper placements, you're going to want to be placing one right here on the mini bar. Okay, this will let you know when attackers inevitably get this wall open, uh, when they push up past here. Because remember, you're going to be playing in this corner with the shield, and I know you're not going to be able to see the shield here. Uh, I have to do these games solo. Uh, my friends are busy. I could force them to put a shield here for me, but I'm, I'm sure you guys will understand without you know a model shield here okay but this beeper will tell you when the attackers are exposed and you can peek up and slam them okay for your next one you're gonna want to put it right above this door it's the same concept and it's actually very likely that both of these will get shot out from the window okay but um you know you guys get the point uh you know they come through here they get beeped they know you know that they're, they're exposed to you okay and you, you can smoke them all right so if you're playing position during the round you're gonna want to sit in pixel bitch corner whatever you and your team call it i call it pixel uh, and you're going to want to use your Wamai discs in order to protect yourself from grenades. But remember that we have three ADSs here, right? I know you can't see them, but they're there. In this setup, if everyone's doing their job right, there should be three ADSs right here on this wall. And you have Wamai discs. It might seem like a little a little bit overkill to you. But in most, uh, most high-level lobbies, they're going to be bringing at least two operators with flashbangs. Usually a Thermite, a Nomad. A lot of operators have flashbangs. So you're going to need a lot of extra cover. Ex especially with the ADS nerf recently. Okay, and you're gonna wanna be placing your OMI discs 
on the back of these chairs, okay? This is a good spot. Up here is a good spot. This might get shot out, though. This one's very hard to shoot out unless you drone it. And you could also throw one right on this couch, although it can be shot from the window. Um, but this is probably the best position here. And you can even toss it on the floor if this gets locked up, but then they will blow each other up. All right, sorry. Um, the reason why you don't want to be placing your Romai gadgets where your ADSs are is because if a nade comes through here and the, the magnet, you know, activates and the ADS zaps it, both an ADS charge and the magnet get wasted. But if the magnets are in front of the ADS, the magnets will catch it before it gets to your ADS, so it'll only get rid of the magnet instead of an ADS charge and a magnet. Okay, so it's kind of just, a, you know, an efficiency thing. But during the round, you're going to want to play in pixel. Okay, now this is a really, really powerful position. There's a lot of angles you can deny from here. But there's also a lot of angles that can deny you here, especially the biggest one to be concerned about is somebody repelling upside down on this window. If you hear this window get opened in the beginning of the round, you gotta, you gotta be really, really careful with your next steps. Because it's most likely that there's gonna be a guy right here holding holding this doorway, okay? So if you expose yourself to this doorway, you're, you're gonna die, right? You can't contest that upside down repel. Your legs are showing, your stomach is showing, just the tip of their head's gonna be showing, and they're gonna, they're gonna own you 10 times out of 10 there, okay? So... When they open this window, you got to make a decision on whether or not you're going to play in this corner or you're going to play over here, okay? And remember, there will be a shield here, so this corner is safe for you, okay, because of the shield. Now, once you've dealt with a guy white window, you got to deal with the push in cigar, okay? So if there's if they're coming your cigar, all right, that's this area, and if, or if they're coming your uh, mini bar, this is mini bar, right? You really want to try to be as passive as possible in this corner and force the attackers to expend utility in order to clear you out, right? Since you have that shield there, the attackers need to waste your, your gadget and your ADSs in order to clear you. Okay, that's the goal. You don't need to kill anybody here. The goal in this strategy is just to waste time and waste utility. The biggest thing is utility, right? If the attackers are using six flashbangs, you know, an ash charge and a grenade to try to clear you out here to waste all of your utility, it's like, that's worth a lot, okay? Even if they do get your shield and you don't get a kill, Right? That's important. You want to waste the util here. So you want to play as passively as possible. Because if you peek up and you get murked by a guy playing minibar or a guy playing on the stubble door, that costs them, what, like three bullets to kill you? You want to make the attacker's time as hard as possible, so you want to play really, really passively in this corner. But once you do get cleared, which you almost always will on high-level play, once you get cleared in this corner, you want to try to run back here, okay? Now, what a lot of intelligent teams will do is they'll put a guy on the white window, okay, or this window, to, to you know, kill you as you run back. So it's kind of challenging in that situation when the guy, when they have a guy there and a guy wasting your, wasting your utility. Uh, but what I'll do in that situation is I'll kind of just pray, you know, I'll just say, hopefully these guys don't smoke me here. And I, I see my shields getting wasted and I'm like, I'm out. Okay, I feel too pressured. So what I do is I'll run here and then into here, okay? Now, there still is ample time to kill you as you run, but you know, there's always those little things. Timing, as they always say. Um, you know, you might you might live. It's likely you'll live, okay? And then this wall should have been reinforced by smoke. Uh, if he did his job correctly. Okay, I'm just gonna reinforce it here for the purposes of this. Once you get rid of your shield and you wasted utility and time like you're supposed to, you can come back into the bathroom and continue to be a little annoying hecker, okay? You can peek these guys, do whatever you want to them, just annoy them, all right? It's that simple, just be annoying. And uh, at that point, you know, there probably are like 30 seconds left in the round if you're back here and you're contesting them. And you've done your job, but when you don't do your job and you get killed in the first five seconds of the round, your teammates are gonna lose, you're gonna lose, it's gonna be bad, so play passively, don't die. Listen to the advice I gave you so far and hopefully it works out well for you. Okay, so you have made it to the Maestro part of this video. Now, Maestro is actually not responsible for any reinforcements here because he does have a little bit of setup to do with his cams, his barbed wire, all that. But before we get into that, uh, load out. All right, you're, you're gonna want his LMG. One of my buddies on my team takes the shotgun on Maestro and every time he does, I wanna punch him. Okay, so you better not be doing that. And then for the uh, secondary, you're gonna want your shotgun pistol. This is really good for making, you know, rotates, all of that, all you gotta do. More utility for you. Okay, and for your first Maestro placement, you're gonna wanna hop up on the default desk and smack it down right here. Okay, I really, really like this Maestro cam because it's great for providing intel about the default plant. And if you're still alive in the last 30 seconds of the round and the attackers are trying to default plant, give him a good old zap. Deny that plant, all right? Second Maestro. Second Maestro, go ahead, hop up on the mini bar in Cigar. Uh, piano, it's called. I don't know why the in game call out is Cigar. Whatever. Put this bad boy right here and I'll show you what it can see, okay? This Maestro cam can basically see uh, every, you know, every corner, every place in in piano, okay? And what this is useful for is when the attackers open up this wall and are trying to clear Wamai and Pixel, 
they're gonna have to send a lot of drones and a lot of utility and you could actually hop on this maestro cam and uh you know force force the attackers to either nade it with like a you know a grenade or a zofia charger or an ash charger and all that to waste utility destroying it or if they don't do that, you can zap out all of the drones they try to use to drone out while my back here, which will greatly increase his chances of surviving. Okay, hopefully that makes sense there. And then for your barbed wire placement, you're going to want to slap one down right on this door. This is really useful late round uh, when the attackers have to push up here at, uh, you know, enter sight and all of that. Okay, uh, your second barbed wire, you're going to put it right under the skylight drop. Now, this might not be useful in a competitive setting, but I assume you're going to be running the strategy in ranked, and I know ranked players, I've played my fair share of ranked, they will totally send a Ying down the skylight and try to merc your whole team uh, on, a, on a hero play, okay? This will help you, you know, notify you when they do drop so you can kill them. Um, and for your playing position during the round, now it's actually not your job to reinforce these walls, I'm just going to reinforce them so I can simulate the actual situation you'll be in. Okay, and you're gonna have a rotate here that Smoke should have made. Remember, this is not your responsibility. You just got that barbed wire, just got that Maestro cam, okay? And, I mean, obviously the two Maestro cams. All right. But this part is your responsibility, okay? You're gonna wanna make some holes up here, okay? And the reason why you do this is so that you can hop up on this desk, okay? And you can deny the default plan, okay? When, when attackers go and crouch behind this desk, you can actually see their heads from here, from this angle. They... They can't see you that well, but you can see their heads while they're crouched, okay? So this is a very powerful angle late round, all right? And then this rotate here is really good because you can come up here, you can play on this desk, and you can shoot through this wall. If they end up clearing Wamai out, you can shoot through this wall into Cigar to try to, you know, get a, get a pick through the wall and just put pressure on the attackers. And you can obviously deny Cigar door um, from here. But as Maestro, you definitely don't want to play this too aggressively because you do have that Maestro cam alive to uh, deny the default plant, which will be very valuable later on. But if you do contest this angle, get scared, you can always scurry away through your little hole in the wall and then play back here on your cams like the good little anchor that you are. All right, moving on. Okay, so next operator is going to be a Pulse. Now, Pulse is, is really not a necessary pick. Uh, I find them very useful in a lot of matches where the attackers are more careless, like especially ranked, right? But, um... Pulse here isn't necessary. You don't have to go Pulse. You can go Mozzie. You can go Vigil. It's really not super important who you play, but it is important where you play, okay? So during the round, you don't really have to reinforce anything. You're all good there. During the round, you just got to play in Mining, okay? And the reason why I recommend you play in Mining is because you can Nitro through the floor, whether you're Pulse or Mozzie, anybody with a Nitro. Remember, there should be a Maestro Cam in there to feed you Intel for a Nitro. But the reason why I say you're Pulse here is because... Um, you know, that maestro might die, that maestro cam is likely to get destroyed. Okay, so you can use your pulse scanner through the floor to find any attacker trying to push Wamai out of his corner and pixel. Okay, so what you can do is nitro through the floor. Boom, boom. Anybody in minibar has just gotten absolutely blown to bits, okay? Uh, this is probably the most useful nitro right here. This will deny anybody playing tucked in the minibar or anybody tucking behind these couches okay now i know the explosion doesn't reach there but the damage does trust me i get killed by it all the time and i kill people with it constantly okay but once you know once you've done that or if the attackers aren't actually pushing there you have a lot of uh, other useful spots you can deny from down here if you don't end up using your nitro on that spot you can deny the default plant from below although this is a very risky position to play they can see you from this window from the door down here from that window uh and from the balcony if they're paying enough attention okay but usually they won't be look right here you can shoot them to the floor you can nitro the floor but you gotta deny this default plant okay as pulse that's a big number two thing you gotta do after you smoke somebody in cigar and what a lot of teams will do is once they you know you get a pick from down here they're like oh oh god pulse is below and what they'll do is they'll send a guy down red to come and clear you okay once you hit this nitro i say run away i usually run away okay because usually this nitro won't be happening till about a minute into the round when they really get control up here so i hit that nitro and i run away okay and then i go help jaeger jaeger's gonna be playing and reading if jaeger needs help i'll play with him i'll double up with him get a refrag on him if i need to protect the white stairs protect everything down here help jaeger out okay and then when the last 30 seconds of the round are coming down when the execute is about to come down onto site i will rotate back when the attackers are no longer paying attention and I will get my sweet, sweet round win after I played like a good boy and stayed alive the entire round just so I can deny some dumb little IQ planting right here who thought that she could use her IQ scanner to kill the pulse through the floor. No, you're wrong. 
I win. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you were able to learn something. Until next time, gamer out.